How often are you guys using nail clippers? I'm about uh, once every six months. When Same. I find them on the floor, I'll use them. I bite the toes and I clip the nails. I tear the toes and I bite the nails. The oh, best. New topic, new topic. Hey, toe cheese. <laughs> toe cheese. I've got some new toe cheese that smells on another level. Oh, it stinks. The, yeah. Belly button lane ain't no picnic either, by the way, if you no. ever get a whiff of that. Well, you stick your finger deep in there and swirl like a COVID test yeah. and then smell that. Forget yeah. about oh, it. Oh, that it's don't like, give you COVID. It's like my father's <laughs> asshole on a fucking Halloween evening. Comedian Ari Shafir. And if there's one thing you know about me, it's that I like riding coattails. That's right. I like to take the fame and success of my friends and parlay that into success of my own. Lower level success, but success nonetheless. I find the easiest way to get ahead is by drafting off other people's speed to the top. Mm, perhaps you've heard of Joe Rogan, popular podcaster, friend of mine. That's right. I'm popular now because of his popularity. Maybe you've heard of uh, the Sober October Challenge with Tom Segura and Burt Kreischer. Each of them make millions of dollars every month uh, by doing uh, uh, um, theaters, uh, baseball stadium tours, while I mire in fucking mediocrity at local comedy clubs barely filling up a Thursday show. I'm Ari Shafir, and I don't mind being where I am because I get to do drugs in public, so it's okay. By the way, Sober October, doesn't seem like it's happening this year. I gotta be honest, every time I reach out to those guys saying, uh, hey, wh what are we doing, what are the stakes? I just got a lot of ignored. I'm thinking they're pussing out. That's okay with me, because I didn't want to do it in the first place. But I just want you to know, it ain't because of me, it's because of them. And today, in terms of coattail writing, why, this episode is no exception. Perhaps you've heard of Mark Normand. He's recently become a theater comic himself with popular podcasts such as We Might Be Drunk and Tuesdays with Stories. And his friend, Joe List, who recently made his own feature film with Louis C.K. Uh, called uh, The Fourth of July. It's in theaters everywhere and now streaming on louisck.com. Well, they have a popular podcast called Tuesdays with Stories. It's a popular podcast so much, in fact, that it surpassed the popularity of my own podcast, Skeptic Tank. So I thought, what better chance to coattail ride than by getting these two guys on my podcast? So we did one. From the road to Royersford, Pennsylvania. Yep, it's an automobile one, you guys. If you're watching on YouTube, it will be shaky. If you're listening, ah, it's going to be great. An hour long, uh, Siobhan was there, Chuck was there as well. Um, but mostly, you'll want to know about Mark Norman and Joe List. Um, it's called Tuesdays with Ari's. <laughs> All we did was shoot the shit. Well, I don't know. I'm not a great host, but those guys carried me through it. A couple things to announce, you guys. A couple of very important things to announce that I'm uh, excited to tell you about. Number one, first and foremost, before you even change the channel, I've got a new podcast coming. It's a travel podcast. It's going to be, uh, it's not about where to go and what to do in these places, but it's about people's experience in faraway places. Yeah. That's the other thing you know about me, is that I love to travel. Um, so you can subscribe right now on iTunes, on Spotify, and all that stuff. It's called You Be Trippin'. It will be uh, first episodes will come out Rosh Hashanah. That's Jewish New Year. September 20, what is it, 5th, 3rd, 7th? One of those. Uh, I'm really excited about this. I've already done a few, and it just already fills me with the fucking wanderlust. I've been planning this podcast for about a year, and I've finally got a sweet backdrop designed by uh, at Abracadaver on Instagram. And um, and it's just been fun. It's already every every episode I do, it, I'm just like sigh at the end of it. Like I'm like, damn it, I want to get gone again. It's a fun one. If you like to travel, this is the podcast for you for sure. You be tripping. Subscribe right now. There's a link at the bottom of the uh, page wherever you're listening. 
uh, to subscribe yourself and uh, tell a friend about it and fucking get it going. Uh, late September, it will start. Uh, but that backdrop that you will see when it does come out, it'll be at Ari Shafir uh, on YouTube, youtube.com slash Ari Shafir, uh, is designed by the same guy who designed this year's Shroomfest shirt, Lee and Gwyn. Uh, the new Shroomfest shirt. Shroomfest this year is uh, September 10th, 11th, and 12th, and or 12th. If you don't know what Shroomfest is, it's just an excuse to do mushrooms, everybody. That's all it ever was. Just an excuse to do sweet, sweet mushrooms. Um... Yeah, everyone needs a fucking excuse. So Shroomfest is every year. It's during the, the 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 summer weekend with the most amount of moonlight in the Northern Hemisphere. And this year, it's right at the end of the summer, September 10th, 11th, and 12th. Uh, if you want, the idea is you get a shirt if you celebrate Shroomfest. If you have to celebrate late or early, yeah, you can get one too. But I've got a brand new merch page. I've got a new cat shirt up there too. I've got a, 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 a psychedelic deck of cards. I am the Mushroom King. Um. <laughs> yeah, they're they're fun cards. Uh, go to AriShafir.com right now. Follow the link, the bottom of the screen or the bottom of the page, and you can get your own Shroomfest shirts. Um. And then I've got tour dates. I'm gonna start touring again uh, in uh, September. Me and J Big J are doing one night only in Las Vegas at uh, Wise Guys, September 21st. Me, Big J Okerson. Too much body for one stage. No, but it is on one stage. Uh, and then October, I've got uh, I've got um, Philadelphia at Helium. October, let's see here. September, nothing. I, oh, after scanning for September, October twentieth through the twenty second, uh, and then Portland, November third through the fifth, also at Helium, um, and Dallas. December 2nd and 3rd with Reggie Conquest. And then I've just got to book a bunch of crap. Got a bunch of bunch of stuff. Tour is coming soon. Um, that's it. Let's do a quick sponsor. Um, I don't know what to tell you guys. I don't think there's anything going on, going on right now. Oh, Norman's bachelor party. God damn, it was fun. We had a bachelor party for Mark Norman. Um, he's on this podcast. You'll know him from this podcast. And uh, do you ever fucking... Do you ever come in your pants when you when you go to a strip club? I don't care for strip clubs. They're too they're, they're just too many dudes. If you're like, hey, where do you want to go to see uh, naked women? You're like, uh, somewhere where there's 78 percent men. It's gross, and the women are like, the worst is when you have like a gross woman. She comes up to you like, hi, and I'm like, you're putting too much pressure on me. I don't want to go. But actually, I shouldn't even say that because pretty much any chick who eventually, when you get drunk enough, you're like, yeah, let's go. And we're all wearing matching outfits and I wasn't wearing underwear. And this chick just fucking rubs and rubs and rubs. And then eventually I just blow a load in my, in my pants. Do you know how sad it is to blow a load in your pants? It's only surpassed by the sadness that you get when the song is not over and you're like, oh, stop rubbing on me now. There's nothing left for you to do. You've accomplished all your goals. Also, what's sad is when you haven't paid her yet. So now you gotta like get your wallet out that's a little soaked. And you gotta fucking get out the, you know, 60 seconds. Yeah, I was almost through one song. I finished one song and I was like, Paquito Mas. Mas, porfa. Mas. And she's like, oh, hablo espanol. Habla, hablas espanol. We, I said, in mixed fucking languages. And then, you know, a minute into that second song is all I needed. And you got like, eh. and then you got to go out and meet your friends. They're like, how was it? And you got to be like, you got to make a decision. Do I tell them that, yeah, it was great. What do you mean, how was it? You know what it was? It was a naked girl riding up and down on me. Although some of them were like, too clinical. Or do you not tell them? I chose to tell them. Like, yeah, I came in my pants. <laughs> They're like, really? Like, take a feel. None of them took me up on it. That's what you get when you don't wear underwear at a strip club. Now, that brings us to a sponsor, you guys. Sheath Underwear. If you go to sheathunderwear.com right now and use the promo code R, you can get 20% off your order. And let me tell you about their product. Because a lot of people are going to say, well, they have this thing where you put your fucking balls into a pouch and you can have a hole where you can put your dick through. So it separates everything. Uh, if you're on a hike, it's fucking great for that. Boxer briefs is the ones I like. You don't have to use the pouch. You can just use the fucking regular. Sometimes I'll just put the balls and the dick into the pouch and ignore the hole. Sometimes I'll put none of them in. But that's not what I want to tell you about sheath underwear. 
sheathunderwear.com, promo code Ari right now for 20% off your order. That's one out of every $5. You just don't have to pay them. I was in Austin, Texas, and I was talking to Mark Norman, also on this podcast, and Shane Gillis. Shane Gillis went to sleep because he had a busy day tomorrow, heavily drinking, and out drinking a warrior. But me and Mark Norman stayed up a little longer, and we were talking. And as we were talking, I let out a hearty laugh. Mark Norman's a very funny guy. Am I recording? Yes, I am. He's a very funny guy. Made me laugh. And while I laughed, I also shit my pants. I'm not afraid to admit it. I have multiple stories, and this is not happening, about shitting my pants. Now, in a normal situation, I'd leave right there. I'd leave right there and go in because I have shit in my pants. But I was wearing sheath underwear, so it was a chance. They sponsored me years ago, and I had their underwear, and I've still been wearing them. And the sheath underwear, the way it's constructed, and I don't think this is the original, this is the original uh, design on purpose. It's kind of like when they had, uh, when they had, um, what was it? Weight loss pills? No. What was it? What was this? It was like, it was like, oh, Vivran it was supposed to be a weight loss pill, and it ended up keeping you awake. Sheath underwear is designed to keep your junk away from your fucking side, so you wouldn't chafe. But a side effect that none of those guys realized was that it keeps your shit in your underpants, creating a cocoon in which no shit could escape as long as no heavy jumping up and downs were done. And I'm not a jumping jack guy. So I sat there with Mark talking while uh, the shit kind of like pushed out from my crack and into my butt cheeks, but it did not leave the underwear. And Mark is none the wiser. I think at some point he smelled something, but I told him that's just a homeless guy walking by. And we continued talking. We had a great laugh. And then we went inside and I showered. Now, I threw those sheath underwear away, not because they were bad, but because I didn't uh, have a washing machine on me. But I wanted more. So I reached out to the guy who made sheath underwear and I said, hey, give me some more of those fucking shit containers. And he goes, that's insulting. What are you talking about? And I told him, I said, hey, man, your underwear contains shit in a way that no one has ever contained before. I've shit my pants multiple times on airplanes, Australia, America, uh, uh, England. That's three continents at least that I can think of. I got to have shit my pants in, in Ecuador for six months. It's a reality, you guys. It's a reality of life. You're going to shit your pants. And if you're going to shit your pants, contain it with sheath underwear. Go to sheathunderwear.com right now. Use promo code Ari and contain your shit. Shit happens and sheath is there for you. Sheathunderwear.com. That's a good ad read. Um, all right, so let's start the episode. Right? Let's start the episode. I'm Ari Shafir. I think that's all I have to announce. The merch, the tour dates, and the new podcast I'm very excited about. The special will be coming in October. But guys, don't forget. Go. Uh, you be tripping on iTunes, on uh, our, our Apple Podcasts, on Spotify. Subscribe right now. It's coming out. And I think next week, definitely before the end of August, I promise August, will be two comics, two cigars on YouTube. Um, but the podcast, you be tripping. That's what I'm most excited about. I've already gotten a bunch of good episodes. Whew, this is going to be a fun one. Um, again, it's not going to be like, here's where you go eat. Here's where you have to go see. It's going to be like, what did you get into while you were there? Like, did you get into fights? What happened? Like, what's life like there? That's what I want to know about. What's the vibe there in whatever place it is? Um, all right, you guys, let's start the episode. Ari Shafir Skeptic, episode 488. Three, maybe, let's say. 43. Tuesdays with Ari's. Starts now with Mark Norman and Joe List and Siobhan and Chuck. Uh, enjoy. 604, what time's our show? Seven. Seven. Well, we're going to have to stop at some point to wow, piss. Wow, wow, I mean, stop. He's we got to do a wow, wow, stop. Oh, fuck, wow, wow. I went to Starbucks. What? You stopped at wow, wow on the way back. On the wow, wow back. <laughs> um, we could do both. This, the coffee at Wawa is not great. No one speaks about it. True. Is that like a fact? Wawa might guess, be the yeah. single most overrated, overrated place of business. Interesting. All these Philly guys love it. Okay, I know. Th- let me tell you a story that might illustrate it. Are we live? Because I yeah. want to know what I'm going to yeah, say yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, can yeah. I, Stop. I, 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 I got a couple of words locked and loaded. I want to yeah. make sure okay, we're not. Marissa, go back right before he said the N-word. Just start No, I right didn't after say that, the N-word. Right after that. I didn't say the N-word. That was me. Oh. Um. They open up a fucking, uh, what's that chicken fast food place? Mr. Chicken. Nope. Chick-fil-A. KFC. Chick-fil-A in L.A. Lines around the block and everyone's like, oh my God, I can't believe it. And then they all Chick-fil-A. try to, they're like, this is just a chicken fast food place. 
Yeah. Wawa, same thing. Uh, Chick fil A rules. Chick fil A is very nice. The people are very kind. They're so Christian. nice. They're Christians. Yes. Quality waffle fries. Alex Edelman poster. Yeah, ah. yeah, he's around here. Just for us. Oh yeah, he's this is his neighborhood. The uppity. He's doing a one man. The one this is the one man show neighborhood. Oh yeah. Oh, there's the Cherry Lane Theater, which was just bought by A24. Oh. Ooh. I'm in the movie biz, as you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, Joe, this movie is uh, streaming right now on LouisCK.com. Or 4th of July movie.com if you don't uh, want to type LouisCK.com. Yeah, if you, if you want to like, get confused, here's a second thing you can. <laughs> I know you had LouisCK.com in your head, but also consider like adding you know space in there for 4th of July movie.com. There you go. You can also stream it. If you don't want to support Louis. <laughs> you can go and to fourthofjulymovie.com. Which will take you directly to louisck.com. <laughs> and we're about to drive by his house. Shake Shack, by the way, yeah. underrated. underrated. My favorite cheeseburger oh, I think it's pretty time. rated. How could it be underrated? Because no one says best cheeseburger ever. Chuck is biting his lip here. This is Chuck. It's a great cheeseburger. Hey, who said he could talk? But that, we're talking about rating, based on rating. I think Shake Shack... Shake you Shack, bite into a Shake, Shake Shack. Shack. I love Shake Shack. Forget about it. I, it it's, it's salty. It's greasy. They give you some extra cheese. Are these good or bad? And the bun is so soft and buttery. It's soft, a soft bun. buttery bun. Good bun. Shake Shack fucking rules. The way Mark answers good bun, he might never have had it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've started to... Uh, I've had it with you. I've started to figure out Mark's like uh, quirks on like, what he's just straight lying. You know my tells? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why I don't play poker. The best was after, uh, after uh, stop me if I shouldn't say anything, but after Chappelle's show, um, the movie. Look Mark, at this guy. Mark he wants you to go with Che after the movie just to like hang after party, free pizza. Got me some slices. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Somebody was like, what'd you think of the movie? He goes, ah, a little bit self-indulgent. <laughs> yeah. I was like, you're not wrong, you're not wrong. <laughs> and then I'm like, you weren't here for the movie. <laughs> like, ah, was I wrong? I'm like, but no. I figured with Chappelle, I could say that and it would be right. Yeah, any Judd Apatow movie, you could be like, a little long. A little long, yeah. <laughs> a little schmaltzy at the like, end. Oh yeah, you've seen it, okay. Uh -huh. Um, What do we got? What do we got? What should we talk about, you guys? Well, Going back to this is a different soul, Joel, or a new... Uh, I heard it's a new soul, Joel. New soul, Joel. This is Pottstown, Pottersville, I think. Not Next Royersford? Stop. Pottstown. This is not Royersford. It's, this is... Is Pottstown a step down or a step up from Royersford? I think it's a sideways. Yeah. <laughs> lateral. lateral move. Thank you. I think... Um, lateral. I mean... Want to fix this a little bit? What, did, what happened uh, to it? It's just way up. I see uh, Mark's perfectly framed in this one. Uh, Siobhan's got half a face, but yeah, no mic. That's, good. that's perfect, uh, Siobhan. I'm out. Yeah, huge, <laughs> huge cock on Siobhan, by the way. I'm telling you, something's uh, going on down yeah, there. I'm liking this rumor. You got a that? trouser it's snake. Good. It's you really good. No Siobhan, but how's you good? Perfect. Yeah, you're good. Okay. You're good in that. That's going to keep fucking shifting. Well, we'll do what we can. Wait, the last time I was in Royer's Ford, Ford was a big cancellation story in the comedy world. What happened? A booker. Uh, got into a fight about the use of the N word. Oh, and we were uh, what? Yeah, I don't remember this Comedy at all. Comedy Booker, I think you do. Yeah, he's not a dancer, but a singer. Yes. Ooh. And uh, and then but we <laughs> oh, were like, oh wow, he's in trouble. And then we're like, Mateo oh, the Lane. As as it's uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry, as it's uh, getting bigger and bigger, uh, he's fired before the we find the ride home. We're like, he can ride it out. Oh, you and were then it just, okay. Like, kept going. I see. And you were down it there for that. Progressing, yeah, it was interesting. That is interesting. interesting. This is a real time cancellation. Those are fun. Instead of finding out the result later. Yeah, it yeah. happens quick. You yeah, know, it's like, funny. We all know the do? person who kind of set that fuse, yeah. and I'm nervous around him now. Yeah, me too. I'm nervous around him. We're still cool, but I'm I'm still f I'm like, hey, ho. Oh, it's I, like you I have flinch. a rat on me, but you're a rat. Right, so right. Like, so, like, the things I say are, you're definitely. You would definitely say, yeah, I'm going to go public with anything you say. That's, yeah. That's me on the record. And we do say fucked up shit. Yeah. But not around him. Yeah. So you're really telling us like, hey, don't be friends with me fully. Don't yeah. Be right. Me. You, you treat me the way you would treat Mark Norman's mom. Well, she be likes pleasant. an N-word. <laughs> she likes the big dicks, dude. Oh, well, who doesn't? She screams it. Although lately I've been hearing a lot of female comics go on stage and be like, big dicks are overrated. I like a medium, so you're out. You like a medium? A, Who says a medium? Well, uh, too big is bad, I think. Yes. Because it's your pussy. I mean, your pussy's, a pussy's delicate. You don't want me coming around destroying that thing. Right. Um, I thought you want your pussy destroyed. Yeah, no. that's true. I they would destroy say, that pussy. Beat it up. Beat it up, yeah. Slap it. 
I it's a cultural I, thing. I think that's a certain kind of woman with big shoulders, you know? Ah, uh, a beat lesbian. Up. I want a roughneck. Isn't that what they meant by a roughneck? Someone to beat up the pussy? <laughs> roughneck someone that works in the oil, isn't it? Or is that mm. a rubber neck? Mm. That's a wetback. Yeah. No, a wetback's a Mexican. Oh, right. Or Latino. His red Latino. neck. Redneck red is neck. out in the field. And then there's rubber neck. Yeah, and there's red men, which are natives. Native Americans. Yeah, we were me and Joe were talking about this the other day. How there's a lot of colors. There's black, and then there's yellow, then yeah. there's red. Red. Nobody thinks of red, but yeah, red. And then orange men. Syracuse orange men. That was bad. Yeah, what and was Trump. That, that was Native American. The orange yeah. men. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. That's pretty blatant, actually. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hiding in plain sight. <laughs> well, now their their name is just orange. Now it's the Syracuse orange. orange. But the same mascot is just a big orange. Yeah, but they should be the oranges. Should be orange persons. Should be orange importers people. and exporters of oranges. <laughs> Florida Valencia oranges. Yeah, where's Syracuse? There's no orange in Syracuse. Yeah, what is that? It's oh, ice no, cold. It's, it was tribe. It was a tribe oh, of people. Yeah, it's, oranges, it's, a, orange, it's a native thing. Now it makes no sense. It's like the Utah Jazz, right? I've been, I've been to Utah or uh, Los Angeles Lakers. Exactly. Uh, Very few lakes. Or the Brooklyn Dodgers. Yeah. Wait a minute. Well, draft Dodgers. The Los Angeles Dodgers. Is that what they were? Draft Dodgers, yeah. No. No. <laughs> Come on, Joe. Go with me. <laughs> well, what what is a Dodger? Them. It was about the subway. It was people dodging fare. Uh, and they named uh, it oh. after them? Yeah. You think? Yeah. All right. Well, here's an interesting one. He's wearing a bullet shirt. I have a Bullets hat. They renamed that fucking team. The Washington Bullets. That's yeah. Andrew Chavone, everybody. Andrew yeah. Chavone is here. First time. They renamed it to the school shooters. Oh! Uh, last long. <laughs> Shit. Well, shooter would work with basketball. Yeah. Shooter, yeah, the shooters. But there that would go. have more of a negative. That yeah. They would have the same problem. But yeah. I was telling them that if they just ignored the calls for like, well, we're the number one murder capital of the world, the country or world, and it's like, they're like, it's, it's in bad taste. If they just ignored that. There's no... There's no, like, uh, racial issues there. It would go away. But the yeah. Bullock's logo is weird because it's just a guy grabbing a rebound. Yeah. It's not Two even hands. a bullet. It's just hands. So yeah. yeah, rebounding. I saw a, a, a Charles Barkley shirt. Actually, it might have been the Admiral shirt. And it said you can, you, can, uh, you can shoot too much. You can pass too much. You can even score too much. You can never rebound too much. Mmm. Here, here. <laughs> I mean, Gandhi. that's a thinker. That Confucius. <laughs> Get that rebound, no matter what's happening. I guess. Yes, I tell mean, that to Pete Davidson. <laughs> he scored too much. You think he's done with that chick? Yeah, they're they're broken up. It's public. Splitsville. Yeah. Population Pete. He is killing it. So you think uh, you think um, you think he's gonna get those tattoos covered like changed nah, or just no, date I'd... somebody with the same names? <laughs> <laughs> oh, like the uh, the Johnny Depp. He had Winona Ryder changed to Win Wino. He had Winona on his arm. And he just covered up the nuh? And got wino. Because he's a wino. Yeah. Not bad. I mean, as far as corrections of a permanent Johnny ink Depp's go, a cool guy. You gotta see, give it to him. He is cool. He invented the grumpy. And good the friends grumpy. with Stanhope. Yes. Good friends with Stanhope. That's something. You know, Depp had this thing. He came to the comedy store once. And he was in the back of the, the main room, the green room back there. And uh, so everyone would come in and they would immediately be like, oh, that's a, a beyond normal life-size human. That's that's Johnny Depp. Yes, It's another yes. level. It's Superstar. And they'd all be like, oh. And he would do this thing. He'd just get up and diffuse it. He'd be like, hi, I'm John. How you doing? And Whoa. Just shake their head. But would he go, hi, I'm John? You know, <laughs> all sexy-like? No, he'd use normal voice. He's like, hi, I'm John. Yeah, because he's from hi. Kentucky after all. You ever seen his brother? No. Trans. Whoa. No way. No. It's just a man bun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's always weird when the brother is hideous, and you're like, "Damn, you got all the goods." I think the uh, uh, the other larger than life one, one that was dating Angelina Jolie, Joe, uh, Billy Bob Thornton, Brad Pitt. I think his oh. brother's a little like wonky faced. Yes, I think he is. Cause hot, it's kind of like a joke where you know you take one word out, and now the joke's killer. Yeah, it's kind of like hotness <laughs> is you change one eyebrow one and they're chromosome. hot. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's all off. Uh, remember when that? Oh, jeez! Uh, no. Oh, wait, go, go, go! I got drive. it. Drive, you drive. I got you it. Drive. You drive. You drive. I'm holding it. Uh, no one check. wants to see my that's face. That's not going to help you rep. Not hold it. It's, oh, got, it's, not, it's not that kind of control. <laughs> yeah, it's not well, what? that's not what Reddit said. <laughs> yeah, you're right. What'd you say, Ari? I can hold it. Look at this. No, it's going to be wobbly as shit. That's going to take. It's going to hurt your arm. Shit. Oh, wow! He's got a thing. Hold on. Chuck drives for Uber. Who knew this whole time? I like Chuck kept trying to kill, like, like I've never done this before. He's like, no, no maybe this will work. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I've done those. I was like, I'm trying to figure it out. And he's like, try this, try that. Just mansplaining me left and right. <laughs> oh, it stopped recording anyways. Should I, I hit record? Yes, record. Oh, no. All right, here we go. It's recording. 
<laughs> oh, jeez. This car stuff is tough. What sink? Oh, sink. Sink. In sync. Let's see if it's still recording. The whole women period sinking is quite a phenomenon. Yeah. Scary. Yeah. It is because it's good? there's no wires. It looks great. Oh, oh, Ari's out of the car. Oh, Ari. The right, Jew, him. Him. The Jew has left the car. Dead weight. Dead weight. Oh God. No, it's off. Good. No. It's not off. on. It's not it's on. Off. It's off. He's saying. Oh, maybe it squeezed the buttons. No, it's, no, it's on. on. The get in the car. It. Get in the car. He turns it off. This is good go, TV. Go, go. Go, Put your go, face go. on there. Oh traffic, God. drive. Mucho trafico. <laughs> Undelay. Oh, we made it into the turn. Make this turn, Chuck. No, I don't want to make the turn. I got to go straight. No, no straight. You get go in, in the, the tunnel. tunnel you no, you got to get in the tunnel. Yeah, don't listen go, to this. Go, go, go. No, get in the tunnel. Don't let them squeeze you out. These people get aggressive. Oh, no. Once we're in the tunnel, get in the tunnel. In. Gonna okay, but you got to do this without hitting the buttons. I can do it. Okay. It's recording now, recording right? Now. Yeah. Okay. All right, we got it. Uh, oh, Chuck, aggressive. Get in there. Bump him, Chuck. Legs is You're legs. acting like Chuck Nice. You got to act like Chuck Not Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Chuck. Chuck Rice. <laughs> Chuck Rice. Like, like an Asian. Just get in Chuck there. Chuck Rice like a wedding. <laughs> oh, dude, this guy bought his Lexus from Race Atena Lexus. How huh? about the people? Can we just say it's it's 4 p.m. at 3.50 p.m. We were supposed to leave 45 minutes ago. Mark just doesn't care about any of us. But <laughs> it was an can accident. you imagine? No, it wasn't. Can you imagine <laughs> driving this every day? These people look at all these jersey plates. These are people heading home. I just want to kill myself. This is what they do every single every day. Every day. Just lay, I mean, you've got to be getting high. There's well, no way. How, how do they? How do they do it? It's a good point. We do this rarely. Well, opioids are very popular. Uh, I mean, this is just brutal. Some and by might the way, say an epidemic. Opioids this and is, Anthonyoids. This is three fifty. <laughs> hey, <laughs> nice pull, <that's pretty> <laughs> fatty. <laughs> wow. He's ready for the show. <laughs> you can tell by that laugh that Ari feels pretty good right now. You can feel. I threw, I threw a Norman joke out to Norman. You can feel it. <laughs> I, lo well, I loved it. So you can you can feel the the pride. <laughs> I loved it. Um... <laughs> But this is and this Tweet is an it. hour before it gets bad. This is like nothing. What time is it right now? Three fifty-one. Yeah. Oh yeah, we should have left at three right when we were going. Should have left at three. I have a friend. I love when Mark was like, "I'm four minutes away," and then five minutes later he goes, "I'm getting on the A at 34th. Literally <laughs> like, forty blocks what? away. Uh, well, I thought the A would move a little faster. Um, oh, this is super shaky, by the way. This camera. Uh -oh. But no one cares. You don't have to have me in there. They know what my face looks like. Jam Put that under. under. Jam. I'll jam you under. You gotta go further back, otherwise it's gonna be on. Oh, no. uh, push my, that back. Who there knows what that's pointing at? Okay, there you go. I mean, it's a little crooked. <laughs> yeah, crooked's good. Crooked's fine. Well, I'll tell that to my teeth and my dick. <laughs> let me let me jump on the hood and see <laughs> if we can fix it. Um. All right, we're in the tunnel. Folks. Are we gonna lose it in the tunnel? Lose what? There's no signal. I know it's a joke. It's a bit. Yeah, fuck. Oh, fair enough. We Jesus. went down to 609, 608. Uh, 608. Here we go. You know what I love about getting out of the tunnel with GPS when it loses it loses faster. signal and no. then just picks up four minutes. Why'd you take yeah. the tunnel? Why did you take the tunnel? The hoof. Yeah. Come on. Um, what else do we got, guys? Give me a topic here. Oh. Topic? I don't know. Fuck what are you, the, the view? The topic to discuss. Uh, oh, right. topic to discuss. Yeah. I see. I thought uh, you meant a cream. <laughs> Topical. <laughs> Apply liberally. Siobhan, you, don't, you don't know Siobhan too well. Get him involved. Uh, Siobhan, what do you think about some things? I was in Paris on a tour de France. Oh, how was Paris? Oh, dude, it was fucking ball. It was great. It's a great town. I rolled cigarettes. I'm addicted to cigarettes right now. Oh, my God. Yeah, I was just rolling cigarettes and smoking them in cafes. Wow. wow. No one's addicted to cigarettes. Who is? No one. Yeah. You and rubbernecks. <laughs> Roughnecks. There you go. Good job. Shit. Smart move with the lighting. Video good, guy. Good contribution by Chuck. Chuck Staten's in the house. Say something cool. Cool guy. <laughs> Yikes. All right. Oh, somebody jerked Chuck, the wheel. Chuck, where'd you get this SUV? Oh. Things that are not SUVs.com? <laughs> this is an SUV. It's a midsize. No, it's a midsize. Uh, There's nothing SUV about this. Sport utility vehicle. What What utility? It's a vehicle. It's look a V. At, look at the, the trunk space. It's monstrous. There you Put go. Your phone See, back there. You <laughs> yeah, I assume there would be three levels of uh, three, three rows. rows. No, no, you don't need the three rows. <laughs> <laughs> You're a hell of a salesman. <laughs> you don't need the three rows. Nah, this is the trunk space. That's what it's people. all about. Siobhan knows. Nutty uh, pistons. I, I have a Honda Accord. It's bigger than this. Oh, 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 oh shit. Upgraded or something. What do you call this thing? 
An SUV. It's a Chevy Equinox. 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 I had the Traverse. That was the same thing, but three rows. Separate, but Equinox. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we're in. We're in. Thank now you. we're on the board. <laughs> we're cooking with sure, gas. I loved it. All right, so I have something to talk about. Are we getting nicked up tonight? Nicotine? Yeah, I brought four. Woo! Four. Last second Chavon ad. The, f- the fourth cigar. Wow, We're really smoking the Joe Rogans. You're nice. working. Yeah, 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 Do we yeah, know yeah, what those yeah. are? Yes, tabernacles. Oh. Yes. Tabernac- I don't know which exact kind of tabernacle, but they're tabernacles. Yesterday, I went and bought Yesterday, a box. Yesterday, Marissa, clip that. 607. Uh, Mark that down. Marissa Tomei? Marissa is my editor. Hargate. Oh, nice. uh, I bought a nice box of... Um, What's it called here? Let me see. Something nice. Placencia. The guy up, up so big. Placenta. Placenta. Yeah. That is nice. That After makes sense. That's what uh, Clinton should have used on Lewinsky. <laughs> <laughs> this thing right here. Placentia. Going to the veg anyway. Oh, Alma I have Fuerte. one of those. That thing is badass. And then look at this ashtray I, I bought. Them. Let's see. Ashtray. Oh, I love Oops. an ashtray. That's my wife in underwear. Hold on. Is it, you better show me Sarah's pussy. There it is. Look at that nice That's, ashtray. He huh? calls it an ashtray. <laughs> yeah. Ah, it's not Wait, bad. Let me dude. see. That's Can nice. I see it? It's made out of concrete. Ooh, 80 bucks that is for that cool. thing. Nice. Holds two, two cocks. Nice. Hey, what do you think of this as a sexual term? Uh, I think it sucks. Uh, uh, sh- uh, shovel my driveway. What's uh, it mean? Shovel? What? What's it no. mean? Yeah, shovel. Like shovel snow. Yeah, shovel snow. I see. I don't know. I was fucking. It's some kind of fucking. Uh huh. What do you think? Shovel my maybe, driveway. Maybe if you're snowed in, you haven't came in a while. Uh-huh. Oh, the that's a good yeah. one. No, but that's yeah. after you've come. Kind of so like cleaning like you, out my pipes. I yeah, think it's. Right. You come on the stomach and then lick it up with your tongue. Shovel my driveway. You shovel it into your mouth with your tongue. That's what Chuck does for me. <laughs> oh, God. I do. Chuck, yeah. Chuck, Bo Buck. Um, <laughs> what else? What, yeah. are, what other sexual terms are there? Well, you got the rusty trombone. Which is, you got which the is Houdini. What, which is what you, well, rusty trombone is what you're playing the trombone. I for, think she's, uh, you fuck her in the ass, then she blows you and you put a... Uh, a mustache? No, that's not it. Oh, that, no, she the, eats the, ass. Tell me if I'm wrong. She she's eating your ass, okay. reaching around and jerking you oh, off. Oh, that's it. But let me ask you a question. What's the rusty? Oh, the ass. The it's brown. The, the it's poo. Brown. It's yeah. its feces. I thought it'd just be the trombone. That is a pretty good move. That's I would like to have move. that happen to I'd me. I'd like it once in my I, life. I think I came up with one. The okay. Tony Danza. Mm, and, and, who's and the boss? That that's when you uh, you fuck a woman from behind and then you're you're just punching her in the face until she says you're my boss. <laughs> and if you do it in a taxi, you're all in. Yes. yes. That's not bad at all. I, <laughs> no, it's fun. I saw him on a, on a, on a clickbait article that said um, uh, 10 celebrities that now have day jobs. And no. He was the, I know. I doubt it. I wasn't going to click. It didn't bait me. But I was like, there's no way. But about, like he was the headshot for that. How about that one? You you, you fuck a girl and fish hook her until yeah. she likes your post. Clickbait. Clickbait. Hey. That's not bad. That's not Clickbait. bad. Okay. So you just need the your... term first, then you go backwards. That, what is this gonna be? Yeah. So yeah. we'll go with like uh you know, varnishing the deck. But, okay. And now okay. you figure that out backwards. And that is mm. it's that could be just straight eating ass. I guess. No, nah, we could do better than that. Well, the deck the... is very close to dick. <laughs> yeah. All right. But you'd also jizz on her back and spread it in. What's that? That's a, that's a varnish. That's yes. a varnish. Yes. Spread it in mm. to her tits or something. You know, like you're varnishing. But maybe the tits, because the tits are like a deck. Are they? That's a flat tits. <laughs> well, I mean, not in the way you're standing, but I mean, the way they come off the house. Uh, oh, up. I see. I see. <laughs> the body is the house. Yeah, the body is the house. I see. The yeah, she's yeah. a brick house. She's a brick. <laughs> There's also weatherproofing a deck. Oh, Can we uh, work with that? Be? Any is that the That's same when you come thing? on her face, so when it rains, it looks like she's crying. Okay. No. Okay. How about this? You jizz on a woman, spread it in a little bit, and then don't don't wipe it off, and then someone else comes and jizzes on it, but it doesn't touch the skin because it's already been weatherproof. Oh, oh, weatherproof. Wow. Weatherproofing. Hey. Is, it, it involves like a gangbang over like a 40-minute period. Weatherproofing. <laughs> you ever gotten jizz on your leg, and it, it if you leave it there, it oh. becomes the this, this strangest, stickiest, it, it fucks with your leg hair. Balls. It, yeah, it yeah. balls up on your legs. And it like holds your skin together so tight. It's like Botox. Hmm. Damn. Never done that. Oh, try it. Try, try it. it. You got to try it. You're not living. Yeah. I like to clean the cum off me pretty shortly after I shoot it there. Do you ever just fall asleep and leave it and have a... Yeah, or you forget. You don't notice it hit your leg and then... Do you ever have this where you're jerking off into a rag or a sock or something and then like you, you like 
jerk, you know, you come and then it like, you like kind of pass out a little bit or just like sort of take a nap and then it dries the, the, the rag onto your dick. Oh yeah. Like it creates a oh, seal. Oh yes. Yeah. yeah. Especially with tissue. Yeah. Sorry. So, sometimes I'll wake up, run it late, I put the pants on and then it'll still be stuck there. Oh yeah. And then sometimes it falls off sometimes. And then you go to piss at a urinal and it goes in nine different directions. <laughs> yeah. Love that. Love that. Little chlamydia piss. <laughs> yeah. You have to break the wall of, of jizz. And then it uh, finally flies right. Yeah, yeah, you have to break the wall. But that two, that two directions in the beginning when you just go to sleep after yeah, it's always yeah, pretty it's fun. Yeah, it's like a dragon head. It's going all over. It's like yeah. when you uh, put your thumb on a hose. <laughs> hose before bros. <laughs> That's what about the Best Buy? I'm just looking around Speedway, Best Buy, uh -huh. Museum, Target. <laughs> Target, that's an easy one. Yeah. Oh, God, <laughs> Ari's getting out of the car. Oh, this light. guy. It's like, light. So you got to see if it's recording. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We got to hang 10 oh, from no, Ari. Oh, is that I'm your shit ask, or your head? Ari. Yeah, I, I uh, went to spend some time in China taking uh, Chinese. Oh, Chinese hey, hey, oh, mm, oh. We were watching Year of the Dragon last night, Siobhan and I. Have you guys seen that? No. Year no, of the Dragon. That. Mickey Bruce Rourke. Lee. No, that's Enter Dragon. Enter the Dragon. Now that's yeah, a sex term. That. Enter, Enter the Dragon. Enter the Dragon. Oh, yeah, that's an obvious <laughs> That's one. an easy one. That's just fucking an Asian woman, I think. Oh, yeah. I think you're right. It's Asian woman with tattoos. Um, Who has bad breath. Yeah. <laughs> And a tongue with a slit at the end of it. But that's all Asian women, isn't it? Remember they yeah. were doing that for a while, cutting their tongues? People were cutting their tongues to like make it like a, a split tongue? No. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. That was a thing. Yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's, a, that's a thing that people do when they like body modify themselves, right? Chuck, you're back in my good graces. <laughs> Thanks they for do do that. that body modification. That's the yeah. same person with like the fucking horns that they insert. Those the are called Jews. Jews. <laughs> <laughs> the three of us. <laughs> oh man, there's, there's an actress named Jean Triplehorn, and I always wondered if she was extra Jewish. Because <laughs> it's got three of them. All right. All right. Is it Jean? I think it's Jean Triplehorn. She, I think she was in a fuck movie once. Ooh, like maybe. she was like tied up and everything with somebody hotter than her, but she was still lesbian hot. Yeah, that's pre Jackie Treehorn. Oh yeah, Jackie Lebowski. Oh, look at that guy's disgusting body. Ugh, he in, was like in, thin uh, fat. In the eighties, before porn was big, they would just have fuck movies like Nine and a Half Weeks uh -huh. and uh, the other one, Fatal Attraction. Ugh. Fatal Attraction was a good one, but Nine and a Half Weeks was like all sex. All sex. That was all like the time. Not, what was that rated? I think it was uh, NC-17. That was an interesting rating. NC-17. That was interesting. That, 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 that was only around for a minute, it felt like. Or was that still around? What? You don't get a lot of NC-17. No. no. I, I think, think everything's allowed now. Well, nobody went and saw them, apparently. Like, it hurt the numbers. Our children have no future. Yeah, so you had to clean it up a little bit. Yeah. I went to that garden center, 14th Street Garden Center. Uh, Shout out. Thanks to 14th Street Garden Center for sponsoring this podcast. And uh, asked for some wandering Jews for my special just to have out. What's that? Is that a plant? It's a plant. Yeah. Ah. It's called the Wandering Jews. Just kind of decorated the, the theater with them. And uh, mm. I was like, do you have any Wandering Jews? And he was like, no one calls it that anymore. The name was changed five years ago. Whoa. I got to say, I don't see a lot of Jews wandering. You well, guys are it. always we going to work. System. It's called Roaming Kike now. <laughs> <laughs> Can we say that? Maybe we'll bleep that, but they'll get it. Yeah, I might want to. We bleep it, but they'll get it. Just bleep the roaming. Marissa, bleep him just saying the word bleep. Every time he says the word bleep that. <laughs> bleep. Just like, yeah. Marissa, please bleep the thing, but make it, you know. Yeah. yeah. Make him, like, look strong, like a, you know, like a man. Like a, Do a caricature of him, uh -huh. like lifting a heavy weight off a, of a pregnant woman or something. I was trying to look for hebdrangea. So when you said roaming, like hydrangea, but I couldn't, I couldn't put it together. So I'm glad you said there, yours. Not there. Yeah. yeah going, should you go right? It's a 16 minutes slower that way. I know. Fuck. Don't, don't go. I was just saying, I'm scared. You were in, you were in the lane that's like could be either one. So I had to make sure. Um, you got to backseat drive sometimes. Better to backseat drive than to go the wrong way. 606. Well, I'm, a, I'm on the passenger. By the way, the passenger is the co-pilot. The passenger has to have eyes on because the driver has eyes on the road. It's so confusing, so these it fucking is, roads. The, it, the, in it, and outs of highways, fuck it in New York. Fuck it. No, Jersey's bad. But it is important, I think, for the, pass the, 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 the uh, shotgun to have eyes on the map, especially when 26 minutes are at play. The last time we were coming back from, I agree, I agree. They'd be like, it, you know it's left here, right? Or like, it's the second one. You see somebody, you can tell when somebody's freaking out and doesn't know which one to take. There's three roads. 
the last time we were coming back, I was I was too drunk, I was too tired, and I was like, "Can anybody drive?" And and fucking Mark Norman stepped up. Oh, and I fucked it up. Well, yeah, it did take a long. I think time I to missed an exit. You missed a few. Those exits out there in the, by the Newark area yeah, are it's wild. Such a fault. You were drunk. That's true. <laughs> you did the best you could. <laughs> I don't. I don't mind driving. I enjoy driving. Look at Lady Liberty. There she what is. What a beauty. Gift from France. Oh, I went. Oh, come on, stop it. Eiffel, Eiffel, Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower. Eiffel. Eiffel. You saw the guy jump off of there in like 1899. No. He invented the uh, the wings, and he was like, "No one, no one believes me." And then he goes, "I'll jump off the Eiffel Tower," and he jumped off and fell straight to his death. Oh, the thing is, it was no. buffalo wings. That's what made it so sad. <laughs> yeah, those aren't very good for flying. He didn't test it on the fucking. He didn't anything. test it. He was just so sure of himself. Oh. And everybody went and made a you know made a crowd and watched and just hopefully not like us with the movie. <laughs> what I said like us with our movie. <laughs> made a crowd. Um, I wow. The movie's doing well. What a city! Look at that World Trade Center, the new one, Statue Freedom of Liberty. Tower. Back to the World Trade Center. Now, yeah, but this is so silly. It's been the World Trade Center since like it was called the Freedom Tower for eleven minutes. It's been the World Trade Center for twenty years. And is it, is it back to Comiskey Park? No. Candlestick? It's PNC Park, I think. You heard they changed it to uh, inmate is now incarcerated person. Why? Mm. Because inmate is mean. Oh, mate is nice. Is it gender based? Is that what the issue is? Oh, maybe. I didn't think about that. Inmate. It's like, but I'm a woman. How it can just I be an doesn't inmate? do anything. The, the guy is in there for raping my dad, and it's like, oh, oh hey, be nice. Be nice. <laughs> Come on, be nice. He's, he's, he already got the punishment. There's no extra. Yeah. So are fucking prison rapes not allowed? I don't know if they ever... I think they were just kind of uh, frowned tolerated, upon. Yeah. yeah, tolerated. Unwritten rule. Metzger has the best joke about it. Oh, the prison rape jokes? That's, that it's, it's, a, it's a form it's, it's of It's just part of our judicial system. Yeah. Oh, that's a great one. Black <laughs> dick. Black dick is part of our justice system. That's how strong black, black dick is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very good. Man, Metzger's really, really funny comic. Funny should, guy. Just do stand up. Whatever happened to him? And he's really got his life together. <laughs> he's handsome too. He, said, he is not bad. He said he was walking in LA with his shirt off and honoring, honoring me. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, just having like ethnic people give him talk a wide a, berth. Talk about a huge piece. Huge piece. Magnums were not good enough for him. What? He was like too, too constraining. Wow. Thickness, a thickness, and, and, a, and it tasted like soy. And his his ex girlfriend was this tiny little petite hebe. Yeah. She had to have a midget inside her pussy fucking sucking his dick. <laughs> I wonder if that helps with childbirth later. What? Getting stretched out by a fucking yeah. hog? Yeah, yeah. So you're you're like, well, I've taken a pounding. Yeah. Joe, you read medical journals? Is there any truth to that? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I haven't read in a couple hours, but <laughs> that sounds right. <laughs> and then they say that uh, some women orgasm when they g give birth. No what? way. Yeah. That's hot. That's hot. Is it? That's you're, so hot. You're, that's incest. I, Maybe I'll have a baby. My wife can finally come. <laughs> hey, what do you think of this? It's the most baller move, I think. As your wife's giving birth, regular birth, not C-section, you, you're fucking it back in. You just keep fucking it back in. Oh. Heads you let him know he's gonna come. He's gonna come after you. Oh. I think it's important that you stop saying baller and heller. Mm, I'll just, listen, I'll give you baller. Baller. But, but I mean, you've, you've done two ballers. When did I? The most ball. Okay, yeah. I, I don't know. This morning or whatever. The second the baller was more of an ironic, like baller. Oh. I guess but that's how it starts. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, true, true, true. And then you're saying doggy out of the blue. Yeah. Uh, I'll doggy. work on it. <laughs> baller. I'll work on it. Hella, Hella's here to stay. Yeah, because Gomez, worse. he says bo uh, doggy, and I, I let it slide because he's Puerto Rican. For like a year or two, you let it slide. Yeah. Doggy, trust me. He always follows it with trust me. He's the least trustworthy <laughs> person in the world. He's giving you a business deal that you know is not right because yeah. you've been in this business longer than him. It's he like goes, when doggy, the, trust me on this. It's like when the Saudi Arabian mechanic's like, my friend, my friend. You're my like, friend, you're yeah. the exact opposite of my friend. You're trying to screw me on this uh, radiator. <laughs> My friend, oh, uh, Chucky, Chuck, baby, what are you doing ah! with all this traffic? I'm, Chuck, do you want to defend yourself? <laughs> I'm doing great. I'm killing it. All right, 607. <laughs> uh, me? Are you blaming the time on me? Come on, man. No, I'm, not, I'm just calling it out. Yeah, yeah we're good. We're good. We're, we're having a good trip. We're driving nice and smooth. 
The cameras are constantly being adjusted. We left 45 constantly minutes being late. Adjusted. It's all right. It's, it's exactly what I expected. Set up. No, it's still it's a setup. You fix that in post? We got it. What? You fix that in post? Yeah. No. It's we'll just, add an angle just, in post. She's just going to be like, she's going to call attention to it and call me an idiot in the subtitles. I mean, oh. we're you got to hand it to you for trying. I hope the uh, audience has some sympathy. I hope they'll at least give me some sympathy. Yeah. You know how the internet is. Yeah. YouTube comments tend to be pretty empathetic. Yeah. They, they really, really do. That's a good thing about YouTube. They're really on you. Oh, yeah. Um, By the way, I lost a phone charger out of this. I was charging up, and you took it. I, Ouch. No, Ari. Yeah. You fucked All right, me. dude. Fucking relax. <laughs> <laughs> Did I seem not relaxed? What? Did I seem not relaxed? I, know, I can't see from your fucking from the back seat. I'm crunched what in here. What about tone? No, you seem upset. Well, I was charging, and you, 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 just, you just you snagged it. <laughs> not cool. <laughs> People will snag a charger. It's a weird. Uh, it happens. It hella happens. It's kind of law of the yeah. jungle. So, it's a pretty pretty baller. <laughs> it's a pretty baller move to snag a snag a. You know, you, what, they, you know what's baller is being a fifty-seven-year-old white Jewish man that uses the word baller non-ironically. That is baller. Yeah. Wee. What should I say instead then? I don't know. Replace it. Fresh. Hella fresh. Tight. 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 Dope. Dope. Uh. Sick. sick. Oh, I don't know, guys. These are tough. Fire. 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 Come on. This bridge is fire. 100? Uh, that, that's 100? Do they do that, or is that just over text? Oh, yeah. 100 is fun. 100%. Bust but it. is it 100% or is it just 100? And how come no one ever goes, eh, it's about 98? It's always 100. It's always 100. What about 61? Yeah. That's Best movie ever. <laughs> same, <laughs> same, same tone. That's Ari's next birthday. <laughs> 68 percent. <laughs> They do that with Rotten Tomatoes, 100% and 21%. Oh, yeah, that's the best. Are they still doing that? I mean, how do they not come to their fucking how are senses? How they not that embarrassed? Because yes. they're like, the people are wrong. We, the critics, are correct. We're that scared that we're going to play ball here, even though we look like idiots and yeah, the, complete spineless cunts. Yeah, they've really made a mockery of their whole industry, journalism. Uh, <laughs> like if somebody's like, I'm a journalist now, you just like laugh in their face. I know. It's weird. All the people they say are evil. Whenever you meet them and talk to them and hang out with them, they're very nice. Pleasant people. They let me use their slaves whenever I need. Yeah. Whoa. Bleep. White slaves. Nobody cares about Filipino slaves in Saudi Arabia, do they? Or the Uyghurs. Or the Uyghurs. Nobody oh, cares about the Uyghurs. Or the Uyghurs is like another thing that kind of like went out from people's uh, zeitgeist. Speaking of Uyghurs and... Uh Wiggers, let's go to Wegmans, get a cookie. That's what we usually do. They got the great cookies. You got cookies coming. Oh, yeah. Where are they? Yeah, we got cookies. Are really? they in the car? One of your bitches. Yeah, one of them. Jen, I think. I don't know which one it was. It's either uh, Jen. Yeah, are they here? Jen. She's coming. No, she's coming to Philadelphia. Oh, she's bringing the cooks. She's bringing From cookies. From where? Wegmans? No, she lives in Philly. She, she makes them. them. She's a baker. She make them. With weed or not weed? Candlestick no maker. No weed. No weed. They're just cookies. chocolate chip, right? Just chocolate chip. No nuts. Joe didn't like oh, the nuts. I love the nuts. She made oh. last. Well, Joe love, hated the nuts. The Are you kidding me? Love the weed. Uh, love the, the nuts. Can't you make one nut, one no nut? I went to a place the other day. They put nut. cherries in the chocolate oh. chip. Chocolate chip and cherry. Oh. The chocolate chip is a perfect cookie. You don't put nuts. Oh. Cherry. Semen is the only acceptable uh, thing to add. Cherry Seinfeld. Animal. That's horrific. <laughs> Cherries. We should mess with Jen. I should text her sexual stuff right now and let her text back and have it say it over the uh, car thing on the podcast. <laughs> I don't think you that's want that bad. on a record there, Fatty. <laughs> that's not bad. That's uh, so funny. I think yeah. that's uh, She's like, hey, assault. I want to fucking spit your cum into your mouth again. Yeah. Then, then, well, then, yeah. Remember those uh, boxes of chocolate you'd get and they didn't really have them labeled? So you eat one and it had, you know, like a, a strawberry in it? That was always a bummer. Oh, that yeah, was the premise the bon of Forrest Gump. Bonbon bon things. Was it? Yeah, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you you're going to get. You never know what you're going to oh, get. Oh, yeah. Boy, that and was then, a And real then problem. George Wallace. Not George Wallace. Who's Rusty the, Wallace. George Wallace. <laughs> George Wallace? George the comedian. Stands. Not the governor, but the oh, comedian. Oh, the comedian. He said uh, one of his jokes at the Oscars. Was he I remember when I was a kid. <laughs> that was supposed to be Chappelle. He turned it down. Is that right? Called it the biggest regret of his career. Wow. What to do what? He was supposed to be Bubba. Dave Chappelle. Oh, shrimp really? Creole. Yeah. Shrimp biscuit. Shrimp soup. Yeah. Shrimp. Yeah. And grits, um, but George Wallace's <laughs> joke was: racist. "Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. I know they're all gonna be brown." Oof! <laughs> this is a bit. Did you see him going <laughs> off on Will Smith the other day? No. Yeah, the, the that Black was awesome. Pierre. Oh, it was great. That was awesome. He's like, "Fuck all Smiths." 
<laughs> Smithsonian. Yeah, it's like, what? He goes, fuck the Smithsonian. Uh, fuck Mi Mr. Smith goes to Washington. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Fuck Mr. and Mrs. Smith. <laughs> and Pierre just goes, like, oh, come on. There's good Smiths out there. <laughs> Kevin goes, no, Smith. Fuck, fuck Kevin Smith. Uh-oh, don't talk about Kevin Smith. Uh, Chuck, that's Chuck's boy. I, I work for him. He's my buddy. He's a great guy. You work for him? Yeah. What do you do? Film projects. That's so vague, Chuck. He may, he edits his movies and he gets it to him a couple years later. Six oh five. Kevin's opening. Uh, he opened a podcast venue in New Jersey. A Go podcast right. venue. Yeah, live podcast venue, Smod Castle. Live podcast. Go do a venue. podcast there. Everyone, everyone should just go there and oh, sell it out. The camera tweaked. Uh -huh. Are we? Good call. Good catch. We're good. We're good. We're getting on the ramp. Jersey Turnpike. This is my future. I'll be commuting home from here every night when I move on the Jersey Shore. Mm. Red Bank. Woo. You're still gonna move? Oh yeah, I can't wait. Up here, I'm already gone. <laughs> <laughs> Seinfeld reference. Okay, man. Hey, how'd you know that? What? I just guessed. <laughs> ah, good guess. <laughs> Siobhan loves it. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Oh, this podcast sucks. Trump you can't just rated. say what else you got. You got to make it happen. Yeah, you're uh, the host. There. How long have you been hosting the show for? Too long. Also, we were rolling with stuff. And oh, you, sorry. Keep you, going. You cut it off with yeah, the what else fair. you got? Marissa, cut out me messing up. There you go. Oh, nice. I don't know. Maybe leave it in. It's natural. Yeah. Marissa, is there any way you can have someone else's mouth moving and put put their words and like like change the voice to something so that they're the ones fucking up? This, this is a crazy into part. His own hands. This is a crazy part of Newark Airport. Look yeah. how close we are. We can just get in the runway. Let's Look at that. do it. Yeah. I'm just uh, a fucking wire. plane. Barbed wire. You get right over that with some fucking clippers. Nail clippers will get we you could, through that. We could do the Lufthansa heist. Yeah. How often are you guys using nail clippers? I'm about uh, once every six months. When Same. I find them on the floor, I'll use them. I bite the toes and I clip the nails. I tear the toes and I bite the nails. Oh, is there oh, anything better than tear. tearing that big toe oh, when you get a, the full the oh. full nail off you, you in keep, one? You keep working, 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 yes. then you get a cut and you're like, sweet, oh, now it's going to tear. It's the like best. a fresh bag of Doritos. The oh, best. New topic, new topic. Hey, toe cheese. <laughs> toe cheese. I've got some new toe cheese that smells on another level. Oh, I it stinks. The, yeah. Belly button lane ain't no picnic either, by the way, if you no. ever get a whiff of that. Well, you stick your finger deep in there and swirl like a COVID test yeah. and then smell that. Forget yeah. about oh, it. Oh, that'll like, give you COVID. It's like my father's <laughs> asshole on a fucking Halloween evening. Why don't Yikes. we test COVID that way? Hey, what do you think of this theory? They're, they're the monkeypox vaccines or just the leftover COVID vaccines that they're just <laughs> I think like it's saying, polio. Like, we gotta get rid of this. Polio vaccines? They're trying to get rid of those still? Oh, what? polio's coming up right now, isn't it's, it? They found it in the river. What? Okay. Yeah, it was in a river? They found it in the, the waste. Uh, are they just going to do another fucking disease every summer? I Polio. think so. Polio. White boy Polio. summer. Polio. Polio. But I think I'm vaccinated from polio, right? No. No. Yeah, we it was, all are. It was wiped out before you got it. They didn't do the vaccine. No, anymore. they still do it as a kid, right? Chuck says, yeah. I think so. Polio, no. measles, mumps, whatever. The right? flu. That's the, Jenny McCarthy's getting polio, not us. Yeah. No, no, because I think they eradicated polio and they stopped giving the vaccine for shit that wasn't around. No, you're out of your mind. You're thinking of like homosexuality. Oh, there. What? Where is it? That's okay. the one they stopped giving out. <laughs> At gay conversion camps, are there like? Is there archery, or is it just? Is no, it all that's about too gay. The gay conversion? Yeah, you gotta be that's they got the black hole in the middle. You're trying to shoot it into. You can't yeah, have archery. Like, I love Jeremy Renner. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> axe throwing. What about a gay, a straight conversion? Straight conversion. How would that go? I think I went to one of those. <laughs> <laughs> just like high school. Yeah. They just made, they, they want you to be, wait, they turn you gay. I think that's yeah. racist, yangming.com. Well, it's a guy's name. <laughs> I hope. Or, the, or he's just being racist. Yeah. That's a good way to know, uh, get people to know your name. Oh, oh my God, you die. Oh, oh. 6.05. We're all good. 6.05, we're on pace. What time's the show? Eight? Seven. 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 We'll be out of there by, uh. 8.30 on the road. On the road back. Nobody's got merch? Joe List has it. I got, yeah, I'm going to sell these camera holder that we're not using. <laughs> 12 bucks. <laughs> um, hey, can I come record the show tonight for my podcast? No, that's our podcast. No, I just want to like put up the whole thing for my well, podcast. Well, you're getting this. No, but also I want on top of that, I want to record us like doing two of the stories. It'll be like on location. No, I think that's ours. Okay. I'm filming with three cameras. Give me two of those. All right. Where are the cameras? <laughs> Marissa, I have two cameras. How about this guy? This guy's this guy's Dork. license plate is what W A T Z up. What's, What's up? up? Wow. What a fucking loser that guy is. Is that an Ari Shafir quote? 
What's up? <laughs> hella, hella bala. Hella's up. Remember Always when works. everyone was doing that, that epidemic? I was like this, what's up? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was bad. That was a virus. That, that was, was bad. really a bad virus. We need a vaccine for that Where guy. Where are those guys now? They, th they were stars. That was Cedric the Entertainer, wasn't it? It was who? Was, was it Cedric? No. no. I thought it was ah. Hannibal Burris. They even did it in Scary Movie. That's how big wow. it was. Yeah. Was that Scotty Pippen? <laughs> <laughs> This has been really racist. We have to. We can't release this. There was one. Remember the other one? Uh, I had a guy yell this at my show. He goes, "Yo, Kiro Taco Bell." That oh. was a week ago. I'm Yo, like, Kiro dude, Taco Bell a week ago. <laughs> yeah. What are you in a time machine? <laughs> Another big one was, "You can do it." Yeah, you can do that it. was huge. huge. That was a fucking. That we blame. Uh, that was an epidemic. What's his name for that? Schneider. Yeah, yes. but who made him? No, I don't blame Sam, him. I blame the the retards who think that's good. You can do it. And well, they you, just keep rolling it out. Well, you know what the biggest epidemic that's still going on is? I know you guys aren't big sports guys. Golf. Every single shot, every single tournament. Get in the hole. Multiple people scream, get in the hole. Really? Every it's shot. So Watch a golf tournament. It makes me, I've tweeted about it literally five times. It's only for putts that you need to be made. But they do it. On every shot, it's, so, it's the every free drive. bird. It's the free bird. Is that a Happy Gilmore reference or? Yeah. Okay. Get in the hole, and it is funny the first time because on a drive, you're, the ball, the hole's 385 yards away. There's no right. chance of making it, so it is funny to yell "Get in the hole." And, and you know the guy who says it thinks he's so fucking funny. Well, that's what I always tweet is like in quotes, dude. I'm gonna yell "Get in the hole," and then another guy being like, "That rules. Do it." It's a good tweet, huh? When Hello. Was that? You guys still here? Marissa, can you put that tweet up on the screen? <laughs> and then, and Marissa, add a couple of retweets to it. Yeah. Make the it like, when you see red, you put yeah, your feet on the brakes. You break late. That's the first red thing they teach you. Break. He's We're not wrong. 50 car lengths away. Yeah, that now still doesn't matter because you know this is my invention. I've said before, this is the best invention the anyone's got. The, the brake lights. The brakes. Yeah. The brake lights. You have multiple lights, and it lets you know the degree of darker which they're and darker hitting. Darker and darker. Yes, means, means I'm uh, really exactly. Hard. Because if someone's touching the brake just a little, Chick-fil-A and Starbucks, Joe List heaven, okay. if you touch the brakes a little bit, one piece comes starts. on. So you know they're not locking it up. Right. That's the brakes. They should have That's it. That's the brakes. Uh, you just said that, I guess. Look, Hella give break, me a break. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's good. It's kind of like in, uh, I think it was England. They would do a heard of that. blinking red light and then a red light. Oh. Uh, oh, well, oh, here that means for stop. The, for the traffic lights. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Well, blinking red. To let red, you know it's coming. We have, or maybe oh. it was blinking yellow, but something would blink and then it was full, so you knew you had a minute or yeah. a second if it was still blinking. Right. And then they have the blinking yellow arrow, which is better than just the red arrow. <laughs> they got parliament? I don't like that. You don't like the parliament's in a box. That's a cigarette. Oh, what? yeah. Should I like still London. Here? I'm here. I don't have a mic. What am I doing? No, no. You can, right. If you got something, tap us. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I didn't know. I'll tap, tap him. You. All right. Tap the brake. Hello. 604. You versus unsolvable problems. 605. It just went up right when you said it. God damn it, Chuck. <laughs> 605. It's because that fucking brake, that wasted brake. So let me, let's, let's talk about this because this is fascinating to a lot of people around the country. Mark Normand, when you text, I'll be there in four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Is a genuine I question. What is the four thought minutes. process? There's no way you thought There's that. No way. There's I no really, way you were at 34th Street on on the A train. If you were on, if you were you were on the train. I was on the train. Oh, so, so what you happened? Weren't, you weren't at the station. The train just stopped on. running for 15 minutes. Well, we can check. I got here at three thirty-one. I feel like if you're the doors open at at Third no. Street, it's like I'll be there in four minutes. I got to get out upstairs. I'll be there in four minutes. That's a four minutes. I get what you're saying though. I, I was I mean, picturing you just it, waiting for the. Train it was. I shouldn't have said four minutes. That was obviously an undershoot. But <laughs> if all if all went perfectly, it would have been I don't know five minutes. Nine. But. Of course, the train sits there. A couple, of course, a couple guys run in, so the doors do the the chop chop thing. But you were about eighteen minutes after you said four minutes. You think? Absolutely. Well, we were uh, watching it. I, I have a question, on, Mark. Yeah, we, 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 yeah, we were we were, we were in there. Um, so, but do you do the thing, Mark, of like saying I won't give them the full bad news? I'll just give them some bad news so they can like handle it. Sure, I think everybody does that. But then minutes, what's why weird is it say not say four eleven? Minutes. But it's so checkable. That's yeah. what's so crazy. Well, okay, it was three eighteen when I wrote four minutes, and I got here at three thirty one. Thirteen minutes. All right, thirteen. Thirteen that's not minutes. So bad. Nah, that's, that's, not so that's, bad. that's more pretty than bad. That's more than, than triple. More than triple. When you put it that way, it's it's, it's yeah, not that's great. pretty bad. It's not great. 
But I really thought A Train uh, Express. They just won the Yankee it? Two stops. He's optimistic. <laughs> yeah, he loves too much. Yes. You can't blame him for that. <laughs> I thought I could get it, but yeah, I I, I blew it. It's always will, will fascinating you guys say to me. there's bad traffic before you even left? You ever to one of those? Tom Dustin was like that. My dear friend, Tom Dustin. Ugh, I remember friend. we we had a gig. <laughs> What's wrong with dear friend? It's an actor speak. What are you talking about? He's actors a dear friend. Say dear friend. <laughs> What uh, actors are you talking to? Uh, Name actor? some actors you've been hanging out with. Give me three actors right off the bat well, you've been you, talking to. You met Johnny that are saying, Depp. Dear friend. Joe He's DeRosa. My dear friend, uh, Doug Stanhope. Yeah, that's a DeRosa thing to say. Fucking sucks. DeRosa's been posting some clips lately friend. that have been great, by the way. Really good friend of mine. He's coming to the bachelor party. Who? DeRosa. Joe D. My close friend. Is that cool? My yes. hella friend. My yeah, my debomb friend. All great. You fucking nitwit. All great. Dear friend is fucking actor speak. I remember Listen the, to them. You say hella. And they'll also... You're deflecting now. And they'll also... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they'll also do this thing where they'll shorten somebody's name because they sort of know him. Tony Bourdain. They'll always say Tony Bourdain. Oh, the Tony's bad, yeah. Bobby what are you talking about? Hero. But they know them. That is what they call them. No, when they don't know them, they do that. What do you call? What do you call Robert Kelly? I call Have you Bob. ever called him Robert Kelly? No. Yeah, that's exactly what they do. I doing. don't. I'm saying when they don't know the person. I just what are you talking about? To them. They're talking about Tony Bourdain when they've never met him. No. Yeah, I'm saying that's an annoying thing. But I don't think they do that. Who's they? The whole world? You're talking about <laughs> actors. When actors say Bobby De Niro, they're talking about their friend. Yeah, they're talking about some guy they met once. Maybe. All right. They're trying to pretend like they're part of it. All right, so what did Tom Dustin do? What did Tom Dustin do? Oh, but he would do this thing where we have a gig at Brandeis University. Dan Hurt, this is 25 years ago. And he texts Dan, we're five minutes away, and we're in the house. He's like, he doesn't have shoes on. Oh. So this, he's a similar guy where I'm like, what are you doing? You're five minutes from leaving. But that, yeah, that's way more blatant. That's wild. I was still rolling. I was in the move. I'm not saying saying what I did was right, but it was, there was movement happening. It's similar. Similar. It's, it's an overshoot. It's in the vein. It's in the vein. But you got to lie a little. What about overshooting? What about that as a tactic? When you think oh. you're going to be there in 13 minutes, go, I'll be about 20. Oh, uh, that's not bad. That's not bad, but that still throws them off because then they're taking a shit or they're taking a but shower. But at least, like, they're, since you're late, you're waiting for them to come out instead of the other way around. I made you guys late. Stay inside for a little longer. I'll tell you what I'm here, and then I'll, I'll eat it. Mm. 601. Nice. Oh, six, oh, six, six. even. Wow. wow, Chuck is really doing well. We found something Chuck's good at. Hell yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. Go blue. Uh, Chuck, we're kidding. We love you. You do a great job. <laughs> Big fan back here. Chuck, we were a little harsh on you before. <laughs> Can I say this about being late? I think you nah. should. <laughs> you talking about uh, pregnancy? Yeah. Look how good I am at giving the mic to my buddy. Siobhan hasn't got a word in. Chuck's just taking up the whole podcast. I feel, I'd feel i love to hear from Siobhan. I want Siobhan on the podcast. Give the mic to him. I the love this one. guy. I keep waiting for him to like pop, Wait, you were gonna say pop Well, I was going to yeah. say that the lateness, I think it's you got to pepper it in. you got to say, like today, like I was going to be there at 320. So I texted you and I said, I'll be there at 310. Then I was like, I'm getting gas. I'm around the corner. And you can just give him a couple minutes here and there. And you almost extend it slowly and it's like you're not even late that's way better too to to uh, give a heads up yes. which it i is, also fucked up it yes. is better too because i was like what if I, I wanted to go to a bookstore and f- see this notebook but i was like nah it's almost three o'clock i gotta get going yeah. but if i had already gotten word right, right. 320 but what time did you get here chuck uh i think i was there like what 315 Oh, interesting. Yeah. i was here first and i don't i won't brag about it because <laughs> I'm, I'm rarely on time he um, was, we confirmed. I am compulsively I on time and was here 20 minutes early. Because that's my that's my you MO. 20 minutes early. Yes, we were. No way. We were. I got there right before 3. No, you're out of your mind. Uh-oh. See, we're all skewing. What? I wrote, sure, what's your 20? Where are you? That was at 2.47 p.m. And we were already out of the car. So What 20 minutes so, early? Sorry. What 20 minutes early? <laughs> sorry, 13. <laughs> excuse me. All right. You Correction. see, numbers are hard. 13 minutes <laughs> no, early. By no, the no. way, we're not even talking about the mark, the, the, the late that we're talking about for Mark with the four minutes. That was already 20 that minutes late. Addition. And we met at his home. That's, 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 that's the irony. We yeah, met at his home. I was home. thinking, like, when he said, like, meet at the cellar, I'm like, or just drive and pick me up on your way well, from Queens. Do you want to know what happened or no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I want to I hear the story for sure. <laughs> but I, know what, I already know what happened. Do you? Yes. Tuesdays oh, with right. You Let's scheduled a podcast. 
at two. Sam asked you to do a podcast at two. You don't know how to say no to no, anybody. No, so no, you said yes up. to You're both. You're close. You're close. You said yes further. to both. You're close. And you were on air at the time we were supposed to be meeting. Close. Am You're I close. close? In 2007, Adam Carolla got bought out from his deal from radio, and he couldn't do any radio anymore. <laughs> <and> so <laughs> Where money. the fuck did so that come from? He ended up doing internet radio, called it a podcast, and he was able to cash in. And then from there, now 15 years passed, now Mark's doing a podcast of his own. Karen Fian. Okay. <laughs> Oh, she wishes. I was saying Corolla and then the word podcast because that was in my app. That's a phone. Oh, hold on. Wait, before him? Oh, I was saying it in his mic, but podcast was already on my phone. Like it said podcast and then you when click it. When was it your phone? 15 years ago? Yeah, like with the... You phone? just you just open it up. iTunes. What? 15 years ago? I don't know. Yeah. No, Corolla's podcast predates the iTunes and podcast app. But, it, I, but the pod yeah. stands for iPod. No. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it no, does. podcast as, as opposed to broadcast. Give it a goog. No, oh, it's, it's pod. Pod. No, podcast is the opposite of broadcast. No, podcast, it's not. No, it's not. How do you get the opposite from pod? Because <laughs> no, it's, it's not going out to everyone at once. You're you're getting it on your own at whatever time. In your iPod. Yes. Why are you against yeah. Apple? Because because Steve Jobs was Indian? Either way, uh, I'm not saying that the word podcast. He just like started a big... Hey, Podcast like is Iranian. Podcast is a, yeah. podcast is a portmanteau yeah. okay. Wait a of minute. iPod oh. and yes. broadcast. A and portmanteau? Broadcast. The earliest use oh. of podcasting was traced to the Guardian columnist and BBC journalist Ben Hammersley, who coined it in early February 2004 wow, while writing really... an article for the Guardian newspaper. The term was first used in the audio blogging community in September 2004 with Danny Gregorio introduced it in a message to an iPodder dev mailing list from where it was adopted by podcaster Adam Curry, nephew of Steph Curry. Wow. wow. That part I made up, but I'm really good no. at reading a thing <laughs> in the voice. Yeah, yeah, no, it sounded good. Despite the etymology, the contrast can be accessed using any computer or similar device that can play media files. The term podcast predates Apple's addition of podcasting features to the iPod and the iTunes software. Some sources have su suggested that backronym, backronym, portable on demand or play on demand for pod to avoid the loose reference to the iPod. The usage has been criticized as a rect con by tech blogger John Gruber. All right. Gruber's got some fucking sh he's got too much time in his hands. It's a, it's a Gruder film, but the the pod uh, okay, so I was wrong, Ari. So no, no, wait, I thought it was right. Wait, wait. You, no, you were I, more right. You were more right than I was. But I was I was I was it was just saying that Corolla made it big. Okay. Well, that was hella interesting. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, doggy. Yeah. So what happened, <laughs> Mark? Right, so what happened? Okay, so apparently I put in Soul Joel's in my calendar, seven o'clock. So I just think, oh, seven o'clock, seven o'clock. I forgot about the drive, it didn't hit me. So then last night I text Sam, holy shit, I realize we're leaving at three. And he goes, we're recording three podcasts today. Oh, no. And I go, well, I can't because I'm leaving at three. It's already been decided. And he's like, well, you're kind of fucking us. And I'm like, I, I, I'm I, fucking I, you. Can I just join uh, in for you for a second? Okay. Yeah, I'm fucking you, but I'm also adding quite a lot to this whole podcast. I'm half of it. Well, that's beyond. That's beside. Yeah. The point. Okay. But he's right because I didn't realize it till just then. I was like, ah, shit, I gotta let him know. And he was like, you're killing me here. We have people booked, blah blah blah. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can we do it earlier? And he goes, we can't. So yeah. I'm like, well, why can't we do it earlier? And he's like, well, I have this, this, and this. And I'm like, all right, well, I have shit and you have shit. So now we're going back and forth. It got pretty ugly. What did he have in the morning? He had some personal stuff. I don't know. I didn't want to pry. <laughs> he's got to meet his first dad. <laughs> <laughs> but those aren't equal, though. You're acting like those are equal. No, no, but you I had fucked it scheduled. Up. He had a we okay. had a schedule. But you said he's got stuff. I got stuff. Like right. so it's a standoff. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, it was a standoff. Right. But he was right. Okay. And uh, so I go, why don't we do... Standoff. Hey, there we go. That's pretty good. <laughs> Johnny Depp's friend. So, so we go, uh, why don't we do 145 to 245? Okay. And I'll be I'll be out by 245. It'll give me 15 minutes to get downtown. As we see, it only takes 13 going by the text. Yeah, you have producers that can finish up for you. And then, of course... People Drinking. are uh, a little uh, late. You get to talking. The microphones aren't set up. Blah blah blah. Now yep. we start at two fifty-eight, and then you go till 
Oh, sorry, 158, then you go to 258, and then you gotta get a photo, and then you leave, and then here we are. So, yeah. it was bad, I fucked up, but... Who'd you have on today? Ron on. Ron, Ron on and Ron. One? New comedy special. That's right. Jokes from the Underground. Oh, Comes nice. out in mid-September? September or something. Yeah. You used Joe's backdrop, the... the so it was me being a cut. Oh, 5.59. I thought I could pull it off, and I couldn't, obviously. Um, All yeah, right. That happens. So we got it out. No, it's not. You have you have trouble scheduling. I've been pretty good with punctual lately, but this time That's I good. got fucked. I just this. calculate. Yeah. Ah, breaks. Joe, Joe, it's raining. We always talk. Every time we go to the Soul Drills, it's, I've it's raining. never gone to Every Soul Drills where it didn't rain. Like rain 12 for 12. What do you do if it rains down Like a mailman. Hot, but the like, mailman. We're the mailman of comedy, no matter what. Who wears shorts? Anyone wear shorts? No, I'm a man. I thought about it, oh, but I decided geez. to be a professional. Ah, Chuck's got shorts. Yeah. It's, well, it's he's behind today. the scenes he's, and he's, he's, he's... Short buddies. He's behind the camera. Where are the cameras? <laughs> <laughs> I think a podcast, you can wear shorts. Women can wear shorts. Yeah, Why we'll can't be we wear table shorts? Too, right? We'll be covered up at the table. table. No, no table. table. No, no, it's a chair, baby. It's just chairs. And then Siobhan, chairs. Do, do we have Siobhan open? Do you want to do time? Well, sure. Whatever. Well, let's keep Where's the show on the rails, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Because usually we have an opener. I tried to get um, what's his face? Mad Dog. No shit. What's that guy's name? Joel. Moderately no, tempered the, dog. No, the Indian guy. Usama, Us no. Raj no, what's that guy's name? Aziz, I'm sorry. Aurora? Yeah, I tried to get Aurora. He couldn't make it. Oh. What? Oh. That's a callback to a conversation that was off by Look at so, the uh, look at these pointless sunrise. to bring it up. They're pretty nice. I wish the audience at home could see it. Look at God. Really up there, shining. Wait, what down do we do if it rains? What is it? What happens? It's a, it's a, to it's a dome. It's a dome. I thought they changed it to it's a different. It's place a now. different it's dome. A field. No, there's no place like dome. He owns the dome. Have you been to the new one yet? No, no. it's the first time. I heard it's just a field. No, it's a dome. It's a dome. It's like brand new. We're the first people in it. Yeah. How do you guys feel about uh, the term dome for head? I like it. Ah, uh, it's tough to use. I like it on paper. I, I would never <laughs> use it. What are you writing that in a novel? <laughs> paper. <laughs> Who's on paper? Joe, head, head, or head, blowjob? Head, blow what? Blowjob. Blow job. Because it applies to both. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Straight to the dome. Oh, yeah, the well, dome. That's, that's, that's why it works. That is head works. is head, and dome, dome is dome. Dome of the rock. Hey, your dick's kind of domey on the end. Yeah. Oh, yeah. James Adomian. WWF. Dome a deer, a female deer. Dome. <laughs> 601! Oh, Chuck! Oh, Pick up the pace, you piece of shit! God, you you dumbass. fucking suck. Dumbass. This is Sucked why you didn't it. get a cigar! <laughs> I didn't deserve one. Oh. Damn it. Well, you your windshield wipers on when it's sunny. Six! We're back. Oh, we're back. Hey. There you go. 84 minutes. 88 miles, 84 minutes. Things um, we're doing, uh, this you know. This place is so fucking far. 70. I know, I know it ruins stupid. your whole day. The ride back is brutal. It kind of gets zippier, then you know you have a few few yucks, and you get you got a little juiced up from the show at least. Yeah, juiced up from the show, maybe a little lubed up, if you know what I mean. Mm. Remember we came Ari with uh, Louis, and he was just driving like a maniac, and oh you had to get God. out and piss. One of the worst drivers he of all hit time. Somebody, they got out of the car. And Wait, he hit what? a car. He hit a car. Oh, okay. Jesus, he's he gonna get canceled again. <laughs> I thought he hit his wife. And then the guy gets out of the car, and Louis doesn't even get out. He just goes. He just leans his his head out the window. Goes, "We're good, right? We're good. We're good." That was crazy. <laughs> the wow. guy was like, "Yeah, I guess." Wow, oh, another victim. <laughs> it was nuts. It was wild. I mean, he's zipping in and out of stopped traffic. Holy well, shit! I, I wrote a bit about him for a while because what he'll do is he makes eye contact when he tells a story. So he'll drive oh, and be I hate like, that. "So I'm driving down the thing, right?" And it's crazy. And I'm like, "Look <laughs> at the road, you son of an onion!" <laughs> and uh, and then you had to piss because you're a hundred. We had to get out. And we were also only late because he had to show us fucking his new seventeen songs he learned on piano. I know he plays the sonata. <laughs> yeah, he's so proud of himself for his new recital Wait, that he's doing with his second grade did daughter. Did he bring a keyboard to the show? <laughs> no, is that his home? That is home. Oh, oh, oh we're at home. He, he, I'm like, oh, it's pretty good. Yeah, you know how to play piano. I, like, I can do better. Sit here for another 40 minutes. What I'll the I'll get fuck? this. I'll nail it. The oh, fucking Kachana is playing, so, and so we had to rush through traffic at the end. I, I was fine. I got front. Jesus Christ. I didn't know he played. Oh, he plays, baby. Oh, he plays. Don't ask me how I know. I'm baby. ready for a stop. Get some 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 cookies, I'll some do, tea, I'll, 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 some What are we at? 4.38? What time is it? Why don't we go to okay, a five? Five, five miles. Too, too late? 
we, we could go to the, I don't want to ruin or blow up any spot, but the, the, the uh, Molly Pitcher uh, service area is one of the greatest ones. That's Shake true. Shack. That Whoa. one is pretty good. What is a concrete at the Shake Shack? What's the difference? What is the what? What do you mean? They have shakes and concretes. Thick. Is this thicker? Yeah. Concrete. But shakes are pretty thick to begin with. You're yeah, already yeah, sucking you at it. You get, a, you get an aneurysm That's to get that. An ice straw. cream. Just get an ice cream. Yeah. Oh, it's ice cream with a straw, basically. Mm. You know what's too much? The Wendy's shake. Ah, uh, the, the Frosty? I love the Frosty. Well, you go spoon. Yeah. Spoon, yeah. It's, it's, it's basically ice cream. You know what else is too thick? My cock. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm saying like uh, my dick is like thick. It's like bulging. You guys ever do the thing where you go, all right, a genie pops in right now. Yeah. You get three things to your body changed. You can go taller, shorter, bigger dong. Yeah. uh, Got you it. know, better hairline, whatever. Can what, I do I'm Chuck taking. for him? Yeah, <laughs> yeah do Chuck. <laughs> I'm going better hairline, number you, you one. You get three. You get three. Right, that's one. Better hairline. F- fix his funky toe. Funky oh, toe? Yeah. toe? Yeah. Who cares what is about that? Toe? Funky yeah, toe like... Medina. <laughs> <laughs> what is this funky toe? I don't know. I got the fucking, I don't know. It's all like. Like, like, uh, you know, it, it looks weird. Oh. That's it. No one sees your toe. No. You can no. ride that to the sunset. You get the toe cheese uh, out of it. All toe. right. I didn't know the toe, toe, is, that toe, toe is number two. Can I just have a nice body? Or no? No, you got to do pecs. Yeah. You got to do pecs for oh, sure. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Hair, <laughs> do, do. toe. I'm good. No, shut up. Yeah, I'm yeah, good. Yeah. I'm looking at your face. Hair, toe. Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> There's okay, issues. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah, maybe, you got great uh, height. You got a decent teeth, dong. Teeth white, no matter what, forever. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'll take that. Okay, good. What about you, Shiv? Uh, okay, <laughs> abs. Oh. But is this like a trick, like Twilight Zone, where I have abs, but everything else is fat? So that would be weird. But but <laughs> how, what, like what's, the main, <laughs> what's the maintaining situation though? How long do you get the abs for? Are they well, for yeah, life? You just get it. Abs. For well, life. That's good. But you have to be thin. To, well, keep, to show, like you have, oh sorry, you have to be thin to keep the abs showing. You can't just gain two hundred pounds and have abs. Like, so you gotta maintain them. Okay. Well, that's what if I, mean, I wear right? a, if I wear a hat, you don't see my hairline. Yes, Same but you thing. still have the hair. It's different. Exactly. So the abs right. are there. Right. Yeah. That's all you want. You want to wear a tube top and you know yeah, like abs like, is good. Well, you but, could just go. Let me be skinny all the time, and I'll get abs. That's not a bad one. But that could be a trick, you know, because there's there's ugly skinny people, you know. Like, no, no, you're the same place you are. You got to do the sit ups. Well, they'll be thin forever. But I see. Oh, he doesn't want it. He wants I, abs. I see skinny people with no abs, and it looks like disgusting. I don't know. M&M. Oh wow, that's He's, harsh. Do you, you Molly Pitch? What, do you want to do Molly Pitcher? I'd say Molly Pitcher. Oh, is shake, probably shake. Good, but whatever you guys want. It's up to you guys. There's you a hot bun me. there. Soft bun. Let's do pitch. Let's do pitch. Let's do pitch. Good way to wrap up this pod. What's a pitch? What's the pitch? What would you guys take? I would go. Uh, I'd go six one. What was my third one? You said, uh... Air toe. Maybe I fix those balls up, White already. teeth. Oh, white teeth, yeah. Yeah, white teeth. That's a good one. Yeah, but that I'm one you can go, just I'm do. Go thin. I'd say th- I'd go thin. Don't waste white teeth. Yeah, that's, I, that's I go fixable. thin. I go thin. I'll just replace but you're my pretty teeth. thin. I'd stay thin. I'm about 10 oh, pounds okay, okay. Nice. okay. So Maybe you could out. convert to, like, a religion that's not as offensive. You could do what, that what already, you though. You could go muzz. Yeah. I'm going to go 6'1". 6'1". I'm bad. Bigger dong, bigger dong, yeah, and uh, I guess bicep. I don't know what's what. Oh, uh, hairline. I go perfect Hair, hairline. Yeah, oh, that's nice. That's, okay. Even if it's not bad now, it's like it won't be a problem. Exactly. Never have to worry about it again in your whole life. Chuck, what do you got? Sea dog. I want my balls to be pink again. I think they used to be pink. Now they're like brown. You have that? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I hate a brown ball. Too much anal. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I want Rusty pink trombone. balls again. Normal teeth. I got the teeth that all separate. They go in different directions. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? Oh, you got nice. I'd kill for those teeth. Get out of here. They're all separated. Piano Let's keys. See. What else? What else do Louis you want? Will play them. I mean, we all want to. We all want to be nice and toned and fit. No left. left. That's his trailer. Oh, I want to be driving a truck instead, so I don't get fucking comments like that right now. But no. There it know. is. Food. Food. Okay. Let's now, do it. Joe, what do you got? I got uh, I got to straighten the teeth straighten the because teeth. that's like something you can do, but it takes time. It's and effort. It hurts. It's, a lot, it's it's painful. Yeah, braces. Confidence. Um, expensive. I had braces. That's the worst part. What? Oh, I had what braces for two years. Too, what? Horrible. I didn't either. Hashtag me too. That's the original me too. Careful with this Volvo pulling out. 
Um, you didn't see it. You're coming in hot. He's still. Right. You're still Hold pulling him. towards him. He's a him. diplomat. You're He's acting diplomat. like I'm an asshole. Chuck, you're pulling, pulling directly oh, into him. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Sorry. You're a tough breaker, Chuck. I'm a great breaker. Tough no, breaks. you're doing great, Chuck, but literally, right there. Oh you're, my God, Chuck. you were reacting. What else yeah, did you, you choose? Go up, go up oh, that's here. a handicap spot. Six Baby. 602. Watch out for the women. What else? What else? Hit these ladies. It's like a community college oh, wow. ad here. <laughs> I know it's like a McDonald's commercial. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. What do you got? See, so you got a uh, teeth, teeth, and um, see. I almost want to be a little less tall. I'm lanky. I'm all leg. That's why I went six one. I'm all six leg. Is perfect. These legs are so long. Sure, um, daddy long. Jawline. I gotta go jawline. Oh, good one. Jawline, teeth, and maybe just a slightly smaller forehead. I'm all face and head. Oh, I thought you were gonna say smaller cock. <laughs> no, well, a cock is. Now, uh, can I get rid of my herpes? Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Okay. What the, the fuck are you doing? Get rid the of the herpes. herpes is fun. My wife likes it. Uh, all right. All yeah, right. I'm all face. The face is atrocious. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Good episode. another episode of Ari Shafir's Skeptic Fame Podcast. Are we done or are we breaking? I say we're done. Well, Chuck hates breaking. Do a quick and easy out. What do we got? An hour, hour seven. That's oh, good. that was an hour oh, seven. Nice. Yeah, oh, by. Siobhan really know. got his his name out there. <laughs> hey, any last nice words there? Yeah, YouTube, follow me on YouTube. Uh, you cut that off. All right, that seven. was Ron on everybody. Check uh, out Ron on special. Mark Norman uh, has a special online right now. Uh, oh yeah, Joe Liss has a special online. LouisCK.com. Get the movie. Com. Fourth of July movie. It's very funny. Uh, subscribe to my new podcast. You be tripping. Oh, nice. I'm on there too. That's uh, cultural appropriation. It's baller. Hello. Okay, bye. Thank you, everybody. That's it, everybody. That's the episode. That was a fun one. God damn, that was a fun one. Like I say, I want to do more and more of those fucking shoot the shit ones just enjoy ourselves tuesdays with aries with mark norman and and joe list and anthony chavon and chuck i don't know chuck's last name <laughs> dude that fucking that fucking bachelor party was the tits we went deep sea fishing umar the fucking starts i'm catching a fucking nice fucking fish and umar just fucking barfing off the side of the boat <laughs> what a fun time oh we got drunk so much I smoked so many goddamn cigars. I think I got DeRosa hooked on cigars. Um, which reminds me that two comics, two cigars. What are we in? It said all, it's got to come right now, right? What are we in? Uh, Monday the 22nd? What's today? Hey, guys, my team. It's got to come out this week. I'm Marissa, I know you're moving. I said August. At least by the 30th or 29th. And then um, September. When's Rosh Hashanah? That's when, I think Rosh Hashanah, the new year in Judaism, um, which should be when uh, UB Trippin' starts. Rosh Hashanah. 2022. Um, but, sept Sunday, September 25th through Tuesday, September 27th. All right, we should start it then. The evening of Sunday, September 25th. So maybe Monday, September 26th. That's the day of Rosh Hashanah. That's the first day day. Monday, September 26th. Sounds good. I'm going to put out at least a, probably two to three episodes that week, two to three episodes the week after, and just get it going. I've already got such fucking good ones. Morocco, Peru, Puerto Rico, technically America. Uh, uh, um, I'm trying to think where else. Uh, Bangkok. Uh, I'll take you to these places with people that have been there. I can't believe I'm finally doing it. You will notice the backdrop is designed by the same guy who made these Shroomfest shirts. This is the 2020. Uh, Shroomfest is September 10th, 11th, and 12th. If you... Are planning on participating? Go ahead and pre-order a Shroomfest shirt. The new design is fucking great. It's the key to unlock your mind. Uh, put it up on the screen right now. Put it up on the screen before, too. Um, made by at Abracadaver. Reach out to him. Let him know it's a fucking cool design. He gets all the proceeds. I don't want to make any money off Shroomfest. He's taking 10%, donating that 10% to MAPS, the Multidisciplinary Association for Psychedelic Studies. Nailed it. And the deal is you wear the Shroomfest shirt if you participated in Shroomfest. It's your way of saying I was there. I would not wear it while you're on mushrooms. The deal is any day, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. At some point, take mushrooms over that time. So you don't want to do it one day where you have to. You got a wedding, fucking don't do it that day. Or definitely do it that day if you're getting married. Shroomfest is coming, you guys. Participate. Go to AriShafir.com right now. 
pre-order the Shroom Fest shirts. All of them will ship, I think, September 1st or 2nd or something like that so they can get there in time for Shroom Fest. But again, I would not wear it. Use your own judgment. I mean, maybe under your shirt, something like that. I wear it as a badge of honor afterwards saying I participated. You know, it's like a, we won the World Series shirt. You don't wear it during your World Series wins. You wear it the next week, the next day, during the parade. Wear it the next time you do acid. So you say, hey. Is this recording? It is. Say, hey. Uh, I, I also participated in Shroomfest, the world's uh, largest and only interdisciplinary, interfucking uh, continental celebration of mushrooms on the earth. Shroomfest, get your shirt right now. That's it, you guys. Hope you had a good time. Fun episode. Tell Mark and tell Norm uh, List that you enjoyed it. Seriously, that helps him. You like Norman on this episode on this podcast? You like List on this podcast? Reach out to him on Instagram, on Twitter, whatever you're still on, and tell them, hey, man, fucking great job on Ari's podcast. Really love Joe on there. And I guarantee you they'll be like, hey, dude, I got a lot of fucking feedback on that. Let's do, let's do the podcast again. You know? We work together. All you got to do, and, and also, don't do it unless you actually enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, fucking tell them. Yeah, you enjoyed it. It's a good fucking uh, life thing. All right, less Jewy. That's it, you guys. That's the episode. Let's end it. Um, next week, I believe... Buchanan and uh, Sagalo, another shoot the shit episode. Just fun for fun's sake. That's it, right? I got nothing else to say. Vegas in September, Philadelphia in uh, in October, Portland in November, Dallas in December. Who knows what's going to happen in January, February, March? I want to go back to Tampa and do my own week. Um. Bye, everybody. Go subscribe to that fucking new podcast right now. You be tripping. Subscribe, subscribe, hit the button, hit the button, subscribe, hit the button, hit the button, subscribe. Bye. Episode 43. Oh, yeah, that's right. For, uh, hey, Ari, it's for, this is Ari Shafir. For Mark Norm. Wait. This has been Ari Shafir Skeptic, episode 483. Tuesdays with Ari's. For Mark Norman and Joe List, I'm Ari Shafir saying so long.